one blaze of light across the universe. You live on a whirling planet. The sun, moon, and stars shine on you. You reflect the orbs above. You are made of cells that whirl. Dancers whirl. What looks solid is whirling nevertheless. What is to be made of this whirling 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 you live in and all the whirling inhabitants, whirling thoughts, and whirling blunders. Can the substance of the world be such whirling? Sometimes you feel you are in a tailspin as you spin like a top in this verified round place called Earth. Furthermore, you have been told that everything is really upside down and twirly whirly. At the same time, you are above it all. You are essence greater than motion. You are stillness. Still your heart beats its universal tune. Do individuals really exist? Are you an individual? Really? You guess not, really, and, yet individuals can be seen everywhere in a field of oneness. Look at a field of wheat. Each strand of wheat is blown by the wind as a whole field of oneness. A crowd of people is made of many, forming into oneness, yet how on earth can oneness be formed? You don't see how, yet, somewhere in the alleys of your mind and the phalanges of your heart, this is so. You would love to feel less bound to earth at the same time you wish to attach somewhere or everywhere. You don't want to be whirling out there in the universe, for you wonder where in my safety and circumference. Beloveds, I hold you. You cannot come apart. You and I are fashioned as one. We are bonded one to the other, even as there is no other. You, as a body, could be blown to smithereens, and still, we are intact. We are one, and oneness is oneness and never less. You could fly the coop, and still we are one blaze of light across the universe. You are a posse set out to find yourself as if you were a foreign object when you are, in fact, the subject seeking itself. You are being in totally with me without a care in the world. We are A to Z. No, we extend beyond. We step beyond the far horizon. Where we look, we are everything and everyone we see. We are everyone we see and don't see. We are everything. Truth be known, we are infinity itself. We are beyond it all, and we are the all. We are within, and we are the outer limits as well even as there are no limits conceivable. There is nothing we are not. And yet we are nothing at all but infinity, eternally infinite, how amazing is this? We are full speed ahead, although there is no speeding up the pace and no slowing down either. What a hub of life is, even as life is silence and stillness all in one. What a fantastic journey this little spin on earth is. You two, are set to leap and you are set to dive, and you are set to rise, and, yet, there is no top to rise to, and no bottom. You fly the way you fly in dreams. Only, there is nowhere to fly to. Nowhere to fly from. Only flying in order to fly. You are out of this world even as you are based in it without even a glance at the dial. What have you gotten yourself into, and where have you not? when you are everyone and everything rolled into one. You are a glob of life. You are a cipher. You are nothingness and everythingness. You are the whole shebang, and you are nothing at all. You sit waiting at a train depot. You wait for the train to come. You hear the choo-choo and keep waiting. You know very well who and what you are. You admit to nothing, and feel nothing except all this assorted wrestling with life. It is fine to be nothing even as you are something, for you are something all right. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org